Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar today. I hope you're all doing well and ready for some fascinating updates. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos, and if you're finding value in these updates, give this video a like and share it with others who are interested in the latest on the dinar. So, let's dive right into some exciting intel from Walking Stick. He's shared some key insights on Iraq's currency circulation. Not long ago, we were looking at 130 trillion IQD in circulation, but now that number has dropped to 100 trillion. This shift is significant because we're seeing a clear reduction, and the aim is to transition from trillions down to billions. But here's where it gets interesting, the 100 trillion number represents the value of the IQD not just the physical number of notes. This difference is crucial and shows that things are moving in the right direction for potentially boosting Iraq's purchasing power and stabilizing the currency. Now, let's talk about the latest from Intel Group Maxi. Iraq's new national slogan, Made in Iraq, is sparking some powerful conversations. This isn't just a catchy phrase; it's a signal of Iraq's commitment to diversifying its economy. It's a nationwide push to boost local production, reduce imports, and strengthen the Iraqi economy from within. It's incredible to see Iraq moving toward becoming more self-sufficient, and there's a lot of excitement about this shift. What do you think? Could this be the big step toward real economic stability? Moving on, we have some big news from Frank26 about Prime Minister Sudani's role in Iraq's currency auctions. For a long time, the CBI's dollar auctions were a source of corruption, with funds ending up in the wrong hands. But now, Prime Minister Sudani has taken control, ensuring that these dollars are properly converted to dinar for the government to pay its bills and no more profiteering for those who sought to misuse the system. It's a massive step forward for transparency and accountability and it's inspiring to see Iraq taking charge of its financial resources. Switching gears to global markets, gold prices have recently dropped to a three-week low. Why? The dollar is gaining strength, especially with all eyes on Trump, who has secured the Electoral College votes to become the 47th President of the United States. This dollar strength impacts gold prices, making gold less appealing for those holding other currencies. Investors are closely watching the Federal Reserve's upcoming decisions on interest rates, as they're expected to cut rates by a quarter point, but with inflation concerns, this situation could shift. Silver, platinum, and palladium also saw dips, making it a challenging time for precious metals. I hope you found this breakdown helpful and engaging. There's a lot happening, and it's all leading in a positive direction for Iraq's economy. I'd love to hear your thoughts especially on Iraq's new Made in Iraq movement and the reduction in currency circulation. Do you think this will be the start of a stronger IQD? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe for more updates, and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching and take care.